such an exciting time. After years of waiting, the election is here. As an Australian, I keep a close eye on US politics. With the election just 24 hours away, I want to share why I would support Donald Trump if I was voting. Why Trump could win? Trump supporters are exceptionally loyal and show up in great force. That kind of dedication makes a real impact in closed elections. Trump is incredibly effective at connecting with voters on the economy, immigration and national security. His America First message appeals to those wanting a focus on jobs and border security. Trump dominates the media, he's in the headlines constantly, which keeps him top of mind for undecided voters and ensures he stays in the conversation. Many Americans vote with the economy in mind. Trump's messaging positions him as a problem solver for jobs and economic growth. A strong growth for those wanting stability. As an outsider, Trump challenges the establishment, which appeals to voters frustrated with traditional politics. His shake things up style resonates with people fed up with business as usual. But Trump is making inroads with some minority groups that traditionally vote Democrats. Winning over even a fraction of these voters could tip the balance. Winning the US election comes down to the Electoral College, not just the popular vote. Trump's strategy targets key swing states giving him a path to victory even without a popular majority. Why is this election so important for an Australian like me who doesn't even vote in the States? Determining who would be better for Australia between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris really comes down to each candidate's policies and how they align with the Australian interests. Trump's America's first approach leans towards protectionist policies which could have mixed up effect on Australia. While his administration has avoided imposing severe tariffs on Australian goods due to the strong alliance between our countries, a more protectionist stance in the second term could impact certain Australian exports if US policies favour domestic over international partners. Trump has placed significant emphasis on military alliances in the Indo-Pacific to counter China's growing influence, a concern that aligns with Australia's own strategic interests. If re-elected, we might see even stronger military and intelligence collaboration with the US, which could enhance Australia's defence and regional security, especially in areas like defence technology and intelligence sharing. Trump's withdrawal from the Paris Agreement signaled a step back on global climate effort. While this didn't directly harm Australia, it weakens global climate initiatives that are critical for us as one of the countries most vulnerable to climate change. A lack of US engagement here could slow progress on issues we care deeply about, like reducing emissions and protecting natural resources. Trump generally favours bilateral trade agreements, which could potentially open doors to new trade deals with mutual benefits. However, his strong focus on better deals for the US might complicate these negotiations if he feels Australia isn't offering enough economic advantage. Both candidates would likely keep security ties with Australia, but Trump's approach is often more aggressive in the Indo-Pacific, which might help strengthen our defence stance against any regional threats. I get that some people are worried about the potential negative impacts on Australia if Donald Trump wins. But for me, I'd still vote for him, because I believe he'll bring security and stability and that's what leads to a strong economy. If we don't have a stable foundation, it's hard for other good things to take shape. Security and stability are what allow everything else, like jobs and economic growth, to happen. Without them, we're building on shaky ground. At the end of the day, like a lot of people, I vote based on trust and gut feeling. For me, Trump gives a sense of trust, no matter what the media says. The other side just feels too uncertain and full of empty promises. And yes, I will vote for him because I simply love what he stands for.